All right, y'all. All right, we in the building. Roll the intro. Another one. It's another one. And another. What's popping, y'all? We are back with another video. If this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel. You keep coming back for more and more and more. Just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Do it. Click it. It's right down there. Click that button. Make sure you like this video. Super important. Go ahead and do that right now. And turn that notification bell on so you don't miss the next time I drop another video because, I mean, why wouldn't you want to be in the loop on what the, what the scoop is? You know what I'm saying? So, y'all, I had a super busy, busy day today, but I'm so happy to get on here and talk to y'all because I know y'all like how y'all was getting fed that content yesterday. I know y'all was like, oh, two videos in one day? We ain't got that in a little while. I know. Relax. I know. I know. Y'all better go watch them too. Um, but no, how did y'all like the, the second video, the car video? So I'm thinking about maybe one day a week, um, I just report from the car. And I know the car has to be parked. I don't think, um, I don't know if YouTube would monetize me if the car is moving. I don't know. I feel like TikTok, they they would like remove a video if the car is moving. I don't know. I got to see. But um, yeah, y'all. So I'm thinking about doing like a, a show from the car at least like one day a week just to change the scenery, change the atmosphere. You know what I mean? Because y'all were really feeling um, the car talk. So I got to get a little tripod to put my phone on because it was just sitting up on my uh, my windshield. <laughs> so yeah, y'all. But um, okay. So where should we start? Okay, let's start here. Okay, y'all. So Megan the Stallion. So Megan the Stallion is uh, set to host the 2024 VMA Awards. Now, um, I had heard whispers, because y'all know we all in the same streets, right? So I heard, maybe about three weeks ago, I had heard something about um, her doing, her hosting. And it was actually, I heard it a couple places. I heard it on Twitter. And then I had heard it like on a blind item, too. You know, they be doing like the blind items. But congratulations to Megan Thee Stallion. I think that is a big, big opportunity. Now, do I think, um, do I think Megan will make, the um the show interest in being a host i think it's possible um uh, megan has a good personality she's very uh likable um she she has a good personality and i think this is a good look for her however comma you know everybody is raising a brow because they like wait nikki hosted two years in a row and then right behind nikki you have meg come host who is her arch nemesis you know um i really don't so i see what that could give and everything like that. And honestly, shit, I mean, shoot, sorry. I can't be cussing. I know, Meg know what that gives too. Like it gives like you are copycat, follow whatever. But I mean, uh, girl, child, it's the VMAs. I'm just saying, but it do look kind of like for her to do it the, the year after her, it's like, okay, MTV, y'all messy. But, y'all, I actually was hearing that Nikki declined it. I heard they had asked Nikki to come back again because, you know, with these shows and these networks, they really don't care about much but the but the ratings. And so um, whenever Nikki is, the, was she was the host for the last two years, the ratings were really well. They were above what they were the year before that and the year before that. So um, I heard they were trying to have Nikki come back, but Nikki declined. So that could be true. I don't know. Um... I will say, honestly, it didn't make sense. It wouldn't have made sense for Nikki to host the VMAs this year. And so, honestly, if she declined, I'm sure the reason why is like, okay, I don't even have a music video out. So, why would I be here hosting the music video awards? She has no music videos out for this album. None. Nada. Zilch. Zero. Nothing. So, it's kind of like, yeah, why would she? Honestly, like, why would she be hosting... If she doesn't even have a music video out, you know what I mean. Um, and honestly, and that's just that just that's we calling a thing a thing. That just makes sense, you know. Um, and she wasn't gonna be able to be nominated for anything again because she didn't have any videos out. So if you're a host and you're an artist, you would want to take home something. I mean, so it just didn't make sense. So I'm happy for Meg. Um, I think she's gonna do a great job. I'm excited to see her. But can we talk about how Rock Nation works very hard? Listen, one thing about Rock Nation, they are going to prop Megan up and they're going to push her out there and they're going to they gonna get to the money. Rock Nation is, 
<sighs> Rock Nation is something serious. They are something serious. Like, whoa. Because the MTV Awards for Meg to be hosting this, and I feel like it's kind of early in her career. Um, but then again, she has been here a little while. But just for her to be hosting, that's a really big deal. And especially for her to be hosting a year after Nicki Minaj had hosted for two years straight. I don't know, but I'm excited to see Meg. She's witty. She's funny. And I think she's going to do great. And she's, and most of all, and this is no shade, I think Meg has been sober as of late, too. So, I think she's going to be right on the money. I think she's going to be right on the money. She'll be, yeah, witty, funny, and sober. So, I think Meg will do well. I really, really do. Um, all right, y'all. And speaking of Nikki, because we were just talking about Nikki. So, I want to show y'all, I updated, uploaded this as a um, short. Um, but you guys know, well, let me give you, let me take Megan down first, child. Let me take her down. So I want to give you guys, um, remember I was telling y'all that, um, you know, the, about the Nikki and JT thing or whatever, you know, we talked yesterday about Nikki unfollowing, um, JT and Ice Spice and everything. And so remember I told y'all that I thought she was on station head. Oh, and she was. And so I uploaded it as a short, but let me go ahead and just play it on here and then we'll chat. So. This is what Nikki had to say in regards to her unfollowing people. Don't ask me about no, no, nobody. Don't ask me about nobody, please. All right? If you don't see someone around me, if you don't see me talking about someone, if you don't see me playing any music with someone, don't ask me about them, okay? Go and talk to them. Leave us alone. Because the truth of the matter is, y'all don't want to know the truth of the matter. So that's why y'all always end up having to learn for yourselves and see for yourselves. Meanwhile, I've already been like, boop, bah. And still very much blessed and very much peaceful. Okay? As All right, y'all. So y'all heard her. Y'all heard what she said. She said, and listen, I heard this last night. And I don't know why I woke up thinking about that. that she said the truth of the matter is y'all don't want to know the truth of the matter. <clears throat> That's what she said. She said the truth of the matter is... Y'all don't want to know the truth of the matter. And I said this in my last video. That is sometimes the truth of the matter is y'all really don't be wanting to know the truth of the matter. Sometimes it's more entertaining to just go ahead and just say, okay, it's Nikki. Oh, my God. This, here goes Nikki. And now I don't know the truth of the matter. Nikki knows the truth of the matter. And JT knows the truth of the matter. Um, and I feel like this is for JT. I think we all know about the Ice Spice mess and whatever. You know, that's a chop. She was right for unfollowing her. But um, but my thing is, too, Nikki, tell us the truth of the matter, girl, because some of us really do want to know the truth of the matter. I want to know the truth of the matter. I do. So, um, but I don't know. I, Nikki, so I'm smiling because she just has a way with her words. She, like, and I said, I got to use that. The truth of the matter is y'all really don't want to know the truth of the matter. That was a re and that was a bar at the same time. You know what I mean? So, um, but I get what she's saying when she says that. You know, you guys really don't want to know the truth of the matter. Why want to know the truth when the the lie is more or the the story that we've all and myself included, everybody from the internet is piecing together. It's more entertaining. So I would like to know the truth of the matter, Nikki. So, but y'all know one thing though. I wish Nikki um would. I feel like. Although Nikki, when she gets on here and she talks to her riddles and stuff, I feel like I want her to tell her side of the story because I honestly feel like if Nikki would speak in clear, concise sentences and she does, she wouldn't speak in like riddles and stuff, I feel like we probably would understand where she's coming from a lot more. But I think what the issue is, Nikki never speaks uh, directly to the issue or directly to the problem. So then we're like, um, what is she talking about? Are we like, you know, we're left to um, piece everything together. Now, on one hand, I get it. Nikki is like, you know, the people who's going to get it, catch it and get it. And then on the other hand, it's like, okay, well, you have your fan base here defending you. And, you know, it just would be nice to know the truth. Now, look, 
child, let me come a little close for this. So, um, I, y'all know I'll be in the Twitter streets. And the reason I'm in the Twitter streets is because I have to get on here and I have to report to y'all. Now, I know that everything you see on Twitter is not true, but I mean, it makes for a good narrative. So, all this is alleged. So, allegedly, and actually, I think some of you might have said this in the comments too. So, Allegedly, the whole deal with Rock Nation, um, Nikki was actually offered a deal with Rock Nation, but she turned it down. And I'm guessing because um, the paperwork was not right. Maybe they wanted too much of a percentage. Okay. And um, m- maybe that could have hurt Jay Z's ego. Because it's like, okay, who are you? I'm Jay Z. Like, you turning down a deal with Rock Nation? Like, we, we Rock Nation over here. And they said, child, he done had a, um, that, that, that's where, you know, the disconnect came from. And, you know, they've kind of been on this mission, Rock Nation, to malign uh, Nikki ever since. Now, I don't know if that's true. Again, this is all alleged, 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 allegedly. But that does make for a good story, too. That sounds about right. Oh, and also they said that Jay-Z was basically trying to use Beyonce to get Nikki to sign. I don't know how true that is, y'all. Again, like I told y'all, this is just the messy Twitter street. So, you know, I got to come back and bring y'all the bone, though. You know, who would I be if I didn't come back and bring y'all the bone? But again, all this commentary here is allegedly. Um, we don't really know what happened because we don't know these people. But wouldn't that make for a good story? Jay-Z trying to use Beyonce to get Nikki to sign the contract. Um, and Nikki's like, uh-uh, y'all want too much. And then in turn... What they do is um, they go sign Megan Thee Stallion a couple years later and they prop her up and she is the one to go after Nikki and it goes like that. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. And then on the other end, it could be like, did Nikki make an imaginary problem with Megan because Megan signed to Rock Nation? Yeah, I don't know. So, listen, and I don't have time to piece it together either. I really don't. But y'all know I'll keep y'all updated um, on that for sure. I'll keep y'all updated on that. But in a little bit of lighter news, um, really quick, I just want to do honorable mention because we were speaking about JT. This is about JT. So, wait, one thing I want to tell y'all too, although y'all come here for the mess and y'all come here for the gossip and the tea and everything, it's fun. This is all like tongue in cheek like we're having fun it's laughter we're giving our opinion when we need to be serious i'm gonna sit up and i'm gonna be serious when we just kicking it cackling we're keying y'all we're we are keying when i get on the camera these aren't supposed to be like super serious shows or whatever like that it's more so just me just you know telling how i feel me speaking on current topics but i also do I also, and if you are new here, you don't know this, but if you've been here, I like to highlight what um, the people that we're talking about, the things that they're doing positive too. I always give the girls their flowers. Anybody that we talk about in a, you know, a more salacious way, when they do something positive, we like to cover that too. So I say all that to say y'all. So JT had the concert rocking, child. So let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Y'all, JT had the concert rocking. King, do y'all see that? It's full up in there. It is full. This is her Chicago show, I believe, which was yesterday. And then I'll give y'all a little bit of audio. Let's see. Because they were singing in word for word. So let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's it. That's all I get. But do y'all see? And it's packed up in there. Now she is in a theater, which is it's not an arena or anything. But that's damn good for her. Um, especially, yeah, that's really good. And she, you see how packed it is in there? And she has it packed out. Y'all, so I got tickets to go see JT last week. And y'all, I cannot wait. Now, my tickets, um, they were a good price. They were really cheap. They were really, really cheap. They were, I think I paid about 55 bucks for my ticket. And I'm excited. I'm general admission. So I'll be right down there on the floor where you saw them at and everything like that. But I am excited. I'm excited to go see JT. Um, I, y'all know I love her album and everything. But y'all, y'all want to know a key and really quickly, this is really off topic. And then I'm going to just go ahead and wrap this up. So y'all, I was like, okay, so then 
-hmm. when I was like, okay, JT did a tour, and I was like, okay, well, let me see what Ice Spice tickets are um, looking like. Not that I would go, but no, I probably would go. I think I told y'all, I would go see Ice Spice just to see, like, you know, what it's giving and everything. Child, I must have went on here and tried to look for an Ice Spice ticket. Why did I do that? Let me tell y'all, why the ticket was $7? And I was like, oh my goodness, they're going for that cheap? Y'all, the ticket was $7. Let me see. It was I was on vivid seats. Hold on, because I got to show y'all. Um, and I get it. You know what I mean? I get it. But I was just like, damn, $7? And then I was like, you know what? Should I get a ticket now? But then I was like, uh-uh. I was like, Keon, wait to get the ticket because you might even be able to get it for cheaper than that. They might be free. Um, and that's no shade. That is no shade. And look, let me share the screen with y'all. This is not a screen grab. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a screen grab. This is what you see. The tickets are $7. These are $7. $9. Okay, $10. $12. But y'all, the cheapest ticket is $7. So, um, which is good for her fans because the thing is, Ice Spice has a lot of young fans. And so, you guys see the tickets are $7, $8, $9, $12, $18, and so on and so forth. And I'm sure, you know, the closer you get... Um, the better. So I, I would imagine, let's see how much these are. Oh, and it looks like you can get right here on the floor for $32. Yeah. You can get right there on the floor for $32. Or if you're trying to save a buck, you could be back there for $7. I don't know y'all. Should I go ahead and get the ticket now? I don't know. Am I going to be able to even beat that price? That $7 price? I don't really need to be on the floor. I will, I'm okay being cute in the back and everything, you know, with me a little, I was gonna say a little drink, me a little bottle of water or you know what? I'll get a drink um, at the venue, but um, not an alcoholic beverage because I don't drink, but I'll have them put it in a cup and I'll sip it out of a straw so I can feel like I'm doing something and then throw me a lime in there too. So I can be like, um, changing her face, you know? So I would probably go see if I don't have anything to do on a Monday night. So it looks like it's next Monday, August the 26th, but y'all, it's no shade. I am actually, I think I'm away. I think I'm away because... Maybe I could go general admission, standing room only, and it's thirty-two dollars right now. If I wait, it might drop down to about that seven, eight to ten dollar price point. I don't know, but I thought that was interesting that her tickets were so cheap. JT's was cheap too; hers was fifty-five dollars or whatever. But yeah, y'all. So, um, anyway, I know that's all topic, but I thought I would share that with y'all. But let me know what y'all think about this video. Um, let me know what you think about Megan Thee Stallion hosting the MTV Awards. Do you think it's messy on MTV's end if Nikki did decline and for them to double back and go get Megan? Let me know what you think about what Nikki said. She said, the truth of the matter is y'all don't want to know the truth of the matter. That's what Nikki said. And also, are you shocked that uh, Ice Spice tickets are seven bucks? Seven dollars, child. I might get two just because. Maybe a friend want to go with some. Oh, no. But let me know what y'all think about this video in the comments. Y'all know we are going to discuss in the comments. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video. Super important because your, your butt should have did that at the beginning of the video. But I'm going to give you some grace. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. So I'll catch y'all in the next one. I'm out of here.